what's the topic? I got work today, I assume. Yeah, it's good. You know, this is uh, this is new territory for us. You know, practicing on Mondays. You guys know that, and I really, really like it. But you have to be careful. You know, you don't overdo it. It's. Uh, but I thought we got a lot of stuff done today. It sure feels good when you head into Tuesday knowing you've already practiced some of this stuff. You can talk just a little bit about Wheaton and Cooks, you know, in, in tandem and maybe how they're helping each other. Feed well, you know, I think that the, it all works together. The running game, the line doing a good job, Sean getting the ball, and it always helps to have another guy that's talented that's with you. And uh, that is, uh, that's a big deal. For both of them, they and and uh, they're unselfish guys. They block for each other, and and uh, they do a nice job with all that. So uh, it's a good it's a it's a good duo amongst a bunch of other guys that are helping them. How's this team handling success? Well, you find out week to week, right? I mean, uh, I thought that uh, the approach and the everything was good since day one, and I, I mean before day, you know, I mean camp. So they haven't really changed, you know. I, I, I know that that's a, an issue, and we address it all the time about how you handle doing well. Uh, but this team seems to be pretty grounded. The guys are pretty hungry, and uh, you know they know they're not perfect. Um, winning close games, you know, especially on the road, tends to bring teams together. What are some instances of bonding that you've seen with these guys? I think it is a really good thing. I think it's good for confidence. I think when you go into another team's ballpark, you know, you're, you're uh, facing uh, some tough stuff, you know, the, the environment, the noise, you know, and what, what really is overwhelming in, in uh, games sometimes is when the home crowd or the home team gets momentum and the home crowd starts going crazy. That can be, a, that's an overwhelming feeling, you know, on, on the field. And uh, how you handle that is, is the next key issue to the outcome of the game. So, you know, I, I thought our kids were really poised uh, the other day and made plays on both sides of the ball. So uh, I think it's good for you. If you use it right, you know, it all depends on how you use it in the future. If you think, well, you got it and it's gonna, that's the way it's going to be, then you'll get the rug pulled out from under you. But if, you, if, you're, you know, if you're stable about it and understand that you've learned a lesson and that you can do this and... You're just using it for future information, then probably be a really, really good thing. Speaking of home crowds, you guys have already sold out of student tickets this morning. Are you expecting a, a sellout this weekend? Well, I would think so, but I don't know. You know, I think that uh, you know, it, it, it certainly is a fun time of year. I think we've just had a beautiful early fall, and and it's it's football time, and uh, you know, the, we'll see, we'll just see. Like the the run game. I think some like close to 90% of the games that you guys have had a 100 yard rusher, you, you've won. Yeah. And it looks like Storm's really progressing, but the whole backfield as a unit, where's, what's your your feelings, your confidence like with their progression? Well, they're good kids, you know, and I think that, uh, you know, a couple of them, Malcolm and Teron, played last year. Of course, Jinx has been a player, and uh, Storm, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of proud of him. He appears to be unfazed about the games. He's just playing, and uh, that's that's pretty neat. And, you know, we have more depth than we've ever had there. We've had some of the greatest running backs in the country, but we haven't had the depth that we have today. And that's, that's a good thing. Um, bringing in Teron, uh, the final drive there, he just looked so fresh. Uh, what, was, what helped you make that decision? Storm's knee was bothering him a little bit, and he was tired. Sean Reynolds, uh, you know, obviously had a great game. Yeah. Um, you know, what has he been able to do this year to make him such a playmaker and being all over the field the way he has been? Well, I think he had a lot of good physical work, so he was physically ready to go. And then Rashad is smart. You know, he has used his experience to become a better player, much, much more knowledgeable about playing the game. And that position, you know, it, it's uh, it, it doesn't appear to be that one that people think about. You know, there's a like a lineman, both sides of the ball has all sorts of adjustments and calls and all that. A corner's out there on an island playing. And, but it, it is really, you've got to be instinctively smart about playing the game to play that spot because the ramifications of mistakes are so big. And uh, that's where he's gained the most, is just experience and then using his knowledge to be a better player.
How much have you seen him progress since coming as a sophomore starter? Oh, leaps and bounds. You know, he's always a great kid, smart guy. But, you know, through the experience of playing and the hard work he's done in the off season, he's he's become a better player. He, he just had a terrific game the other night. Your defense uh, against Rich Rod last weekend, what kind of a test was that in preparation for the air raid this weekend? It's a big test. It was a great test for us because, you know, we're going to see the ball. I think they threw it 60 something times last weekend. So, you know, we've got to be ready, rush the passer, staying in the lanes, being in good position down the field. I mean, all that stuff. You know, we're going to go back and forth all year with styles. And we've, this is the third spread team that we've seen in a row. And, uh, but they all have a little different flavor. You know, they all got a little something different.